A police officer in the US city of Seattle who killed Indian student Janvi Kandula while responding to an overdose call will not face any criminal charges due to lack of sufficient evidence. Authorities said on Wednesday. In a statement released Wednesday, the King County Prosecutor's Office said they will not move forward with criminal charges against Seattle Police Officer Kevin. Kandula's death is heartbreaking and impacted communities in King County and across the world, the Prosecutor's Office said. Kandula, 23, was struck by a police officer driven by poli- Officer Dave when she was crossing the street in Seattle on January 23. He was driving more than 119 kilometers per hour on the way to a report of drug overdose call. Kandula was thrown 100 feet when she was struck by the speeding police vehicle. In body cam footage released by the Seattle Police Department, Officer Daniel laughed while about the deadly crash and dismissed any implication they might be at fault or a criminal in- investigation was necessary. King County Prosecuting Attorney Lessa said she believed the lack evidence to prove criminal case beyond a reasonable doubt. It's the responsibility of the King County Prosecutor as Attorney Office to review all available evidences related to the case involving Seattle Police Officer Kevin Dave and the January 2023 coalition death of Janvi Kandula. After staffing the case with senior Deputy Prosecuting Attorneys and Office Leadership, I have determined we have lack of evidences under Washington State Act to prove criminal case beyond a reasonable doubt. The statement said the Prosecutor's Office also find the comment made by the Seattle Police Officer Daniel recorded on his body bone video appalling and deeply troubling. Um, the police officer who was not involved in the January collision was captured in the video saying but she is dead and laughing while on the phone. She was uh, 26 anyway. She had limited value. Officer's comments were also unprofessional and undermined the public trust in the Seattle Police Department and law enforcement in general. He, uh, he was pulled out of the from patrol in September 2023 and reassigned to a non-operational position. He could still be fired after the fallout of his massive insensitive comment captured on body cam. Dave was responding to a priority call at the request of Seattle Fire Department. According to the police report, the officer was responding to the report of drug overdose. The officer did not have a siren activated continuously. Instead, the officer chirped his siren at the intersection. He did not have his emergency light on, according to the uh, police statement. In the me- memo to the Seattle police, prosecutors wrote that there is not enough evidence to prove Dave showed conscious disregard for others' safety. A drug recognition expert responded to this scene and found no imparity in the officer. Andula was a graduate student at Northeastern University at the Seattle campus. The university said in January 2023, they would award her de- uh, degree posthumously and presented to the family. A life is lost and still they don't find any reason to prosecute the police officer. He's supposed to protect life, not to take lives. He drove too fast. He should have, even if you respond to a crime, you're not supposed to drive at 119 kilometers per hour.